AGGX here. I'm back with another video review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Transformer Studio Series 88 Sideways. So here he is and let's start the review. I don't have the box. I had tossed it out the other day, but I do have the instruction manual. So basic stuff. And also for the sake of the video, I won't be transforming him, but I will show some photos of what he looks like in his alt mode strictly because it um it's a very tedious i'm just gonna put it like that transformation so here's the figure i do have the backdrop i'm going to grab it so the backdrop basically displays the scene in the second transformers movie revenge of the fallen where the rc twins were basically chasing after this guy so here's the accessory Okay, and I'll show in a moment where it pegs in on him, but let's focus on the figure. So, for the most part, I would say for what they were working with, the detail and stuff like that is pretty good. I mean, the colors are pretty accurate. Based on nature, the only thing is the eyes, you can't really see it. They're sort of red, but you can't really see it on camera. Um, He's got his hips and stuff like that. He got the wheel spurs and stuff like that. Um, here's the back of them, which I think they did a hell of a job cleaning this up for what they had to do since majority of his robot mode forms into the actual vehicle, which is good that he's not shell forming, you know. Now for articulation, he has articulation in his head. It can rotate up and down and side to side. His arm can move in and out, front, forward, and backwards. He has the bend at the knee, I mean, bend at the elbow. And there is no wrist articulation, but the finger can move in and out. So you could kind of like open it more. And it's because the accessory is gonna slot in there. His legs can go in and out, he can do the splits. He has a bend at the knee and a look and he has rotation at the foot. So now I will show off the accessory and where it goes. So the idea is there's a slot right there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a slot right there where you peg it in. Once you peg it in, that's where it goes in. So we're gonna do that. that and that's how his accessory should be in his robot mode of course there is a area on the back of him where if you wish to tab it in there two slots right on the sides you can but sometimes it falls out so i just prefer to put it on his hand so it looks like it's proposing or just extending out of the hand itself right So with that all being said, I will now do some size comparisons. So here he is next to his WaveMate Thundercracker. And here he is next to the leader of the Decepticons from the second movie, Megatron. Yes, this is the KO version of him. Pretty good figure, honestly. You should look into getting him if you don't own him. So we could just see how small this guy is in comparison. I will now post some photos of what he looks like in his alt mode. Honestly, do I recommend this guy? Yes. Okay. And also I do rate him a good eight out of 10. He would have gotten a nine or 10 out of 10 if his freaking transformation wasn't as tedious as it was, you know? But for the most part, he's a pretty good figure. I got this guy at walmart.com because he was like only $20, I believe. And he's good, you know, if you just need more Decepticons in your collection, if you like the Bayverse movies, or if you just like collecting studio series figures in general, he's a good character to have, especially for the price he is. He's not too expensive. You can find him at most places. You may 
Heck, you might still be able to find them on clearance because I remember Walmart was doing like those two packs and this guy came with 86 RC, I believe, in those two packs. But anyhow, this is going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I apologize if I sound a little monotone right now because I just woke up not too long ago. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. What's your favorite Transformer? What figure would you like me to review next? And that's all for now, folks. I'll see you around. Bye. Hear me out.